Hey y'all, welcome back to Redneck Cooking with Billy Ray. Now today we got something just amazing for you. See, we're gonna make a fusion dish. A fusion dish is when you take two different kinds of styles of food and you blend them together and they're just one big harmonious thing. So what we're gonna combine today is two of my favorite things. It's gonna be Italian food and backyard barbecue. See, I have a thing for Pischetti and meatballs in general, and I love me some hot dogs. So today, we're going to make Pischetti and dog balls. So the way we're going to do it is first thing you got to do is get yourself a doggie. Now, you want to take it, and you want to cut it up into about one-inch little sections. And then, in all honesty, the best thing you can do, you can take off the little end. Give it a snack it. Great. So once you got your little one-inch sections, I found that it's about 10 pieces of thick, raw spaghetti. And what you want to do is you just kind of slide it on like you're skewering a shish kebab or something like that and what you're gonna get down about halfway then you take another piece and you're gonna screw it on the end once that's scooted down you got yourself to kind of look something like this now I did things ahead of time and I've already made up about 10 of them so that way we don't have to go through the boring part of me doing it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these and you're gonna go put them in your boiling pot over there and they're gonna boil for about nine to 11 minutes until they're al dente. Now, in the process of those boiling over there, we need to make a sauce. And so I feel the best way to make a sauce is you need to combine backyard barbecue and Italian. So, get yourself a skillet. And for the base of our sauce, we're gonna use two cups of the standard old ketchup. Just throw it all in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got about a tablespoon or tablespoon. We got about a teaspoon of garlic powder. We got about a teaspoon of onion powder. And then I've been saving this up for like two weeks. It's the leftover Parmesan from when I had delivery the other day. So I got about five packets in here. I know I'd say that's about an ounce or so. And so we sprinkle that in there. Gives us a little bit of a time kick. And then and able to make our sauce, we got about a cup of water. Now we're gonna throw it into our saucepan. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna take it and we're gonna go put it on our burner, grab ourselves a whisk, and we're gonna just kind of blend that together real quick. Then we're gonna put on simmer and slowly keep stirring it for the entire time that the, bo the boiling is uh, happening on the uh, Pescetti and Dog Balls. And when that's all done, we'll come on back and we'll show you how to plate this son bitch up. Now that the Pescetti and Dog Balls has been cooked to al dente, as you can see, it is looking absolutely glorious down there. I mean, just look at that, just mm, look at that. So all we got left to do is we take our salsa here that we made and we just kind of slowly pour it on and we are done. Mm-hmm. Now look at that right there. I can only imagine that this is exactly what Italian backyard barbecue tastes like. So this is Billy Red signing off. Remember, you don't gotta be fancy to be gourmet.